Hello, this is Kirill from ForexBoat.com and welcome back to the course on money management. Today we're going to talk about Kelly's formula. So we've come a long way, we've um, done a lot of preparation, we understand the core principles around um, how the percentage we bet on every trade or uh, coin toss affects the overall outcome and now we're finally ready to discuss the formula behind all this. And here it is. That is the Kelly formula. Now, I know it might uh, seem a bit overwhelming at first, but now we're going to look at it bit by bit. We're going to break it down and we'll understand exactly what's happening. And by the end of this tutorial, you will know how to use the Kelly formula and understand everything about it. All right, so what are these letters? Um, we'll put them up in the box up over there and we'll talk through them one by one. So K. K is the number we're trying to figure out. It's the percentage risk uh, of your account balance that will lead to the optimal outcome. Remember how in the previous tutorial we discussed that there's uh, optimal outcomes, uh, there's one, only one optimal outcome, there's a lot of suboptimal outcomes, there's a only one break-even outcome and there's a lot of... Um, ruin outcomes. So this K that we're looking for, which is given through this formula, um, is that percentage of your account balance which will lead to the optimal outcome in the long run. All right, so next letter. The next letter is P. P is your percentage, uh, your odds of winning. So um, how often in your trading strategy or in this coin toss game, are you are you going to be uh, profitable? Um, in our particular example, um, when you t toss a coin, obviously your odds of winning are fifty percent. Now the next letter is B. B is your payout on the bet. So it's the ratio at which you pay you're paid uh, in your trading strategy or in your um, coin toss game. So in terms of coin toss game, it's um, how much what's uh, the ratio between the amount of money that you get when you win to the amount of money that you lose when you uh, lose. And in our case, it's uh, we win, when we win, we get uh, $2. When we lose, we lose $1. And that's if we're betting, obviously, if we're betting $1. So the odds, uh, the payout would be 2 to 1. Uh, in terms of Forex or any other trading, think of it as the ratio between your take profit and stop loss. It might be even easier to think of it that way because um, it's something that we're all used to since we're traders. Um, so if your take profit is 100 and your stop loss is 50, then your payout is 100 to 50 and it's also 2 to 1. So that's how it works. Um, now what we're going to do is um, we're going to plug the numbers for our coin toss game into this formula and see what it will give us. And that will be a you know good illustration um, or good verification of how how well this formula works. So uh, to start off with, the odds of winning are 50% in our game. So let's plug that in. Uh, next, the payout in our case is two to one as we discussed. So let's put that in here as well. Um, and now let's calculate this. So 0.5 times two will obviously give us one. And 1 minus 0.5 will also give us 0.5. So that's our first step. Our next step is uh, calculate the numerator. That's 0.5 over 2. And now the final result is 0.25. So that means K is equal to 25%. And what it's telling us now is that if we risk, if we want the optimal outcome in the long run for our coin toss game, then we should risk 25% of our balance on every coin toss. And this is aligned with what we saw previously, where um, through the investigation of four scenarios, we found out that 25% is um, the best scenario that we could find. Like we didn't look at obviously all of the scenarios that are possible, uh, but that was the most profitable that we found. And also the Kelly criterion is telling us that is the optimal one. And um, if you want to check for yourself, then just 
uh, try guess any number and try see what will happen if you say bet 24% or if you bet 26% or if you bet like 30%. You will always see that in any of those scenarios, it will all be less profitable than the optimal outcome. And the optimal outcome is given by the Kelly formula. And in this case, it, it happens when you bet 25%. So that's how the Kelly formula works. Further down in this course, we'll see how you can apply it in um, a Forex example. Um, but for now, we've got the formula. And in the next tutorial, um, we will look at Kelly's chart, which will uh, put all of this together and it will all start making so much more sense. Um, it's a very, very powerful tool, the Kelly's chart. And um, we'll talk about it next time. I look forward to seeing you then. And until next time, Happy trading.